In this video, I took five plats who think they should be in diamond and put them up against five diamond players to see who would win. If you guys want to be a part of these videos, then feel free to check out my discord server with the link in the description. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by Buff. Buff is a loyalty program that rewards gamers simply for playing. All you have to do is simply play your favorite games, including Siege, Valorant, Fortnite, League of Legends, and much, much more. What's more is Buff is an authorized app of Overwolf. You can earn rewards for simply letting buff run in the background while playing your favorite titles. Over time, you'll earn buff coins to redeem game keys, gift cards, and gaming hardware. I love buff because it never affects my game performance negatively, making it super easy to get free stuff for just doing what I love. Make sure you guys check out buff by downloading it with the link in the description and leave it running in the background while you play to earn free loot and much, much more. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the video. All right, here we go. So we've got the uh, plot players here. We got the diamond players here. So the diamond players are going to be starting on defense. Um, so they will have a very, very slight advantage uh, in that regard because defense is usually a little bit preferred when it comes to uh, siege, but eh, it is what it is. That's not that significant. So defense will be starting the bands off first. Probably Thatcher. Yep, there it is. All right, let's see what the plats are going to come out with. All right, all right, all right. Let's have fun, guys. Who are you playing? Who are you picking? Who are you picking that guy? That guy's so ugly. Uh, that just means the defense is gonna roam a lot though, so that's probably gonna hurt the plats more than it is the the diamonds here, at least in the short term. Probably like a mirror or something. Clash. Okay, interesting. Normally don't see clash band. And if I'm the plot players, I wouldn't ban clash, considering that I'm against diamond players. I'd be thinking that they're probably gonna use their mechanical skill. Uh, not so much strats, but we'll see. There goes the mirror. So that that's going to leave Cade up, which isn't the end of the world, but Cade's pretty powerful on this map. Uh, so we'll see how the plats will take care of that as the diamonds are going to be starting on defense first. So they'll have the Cade available to them or they have uh, it available to the plats. So let's see. Probably going to go AV first for the diamonds. That's what I expect. Yep, they're going to whip out that Cade as I was saying. Oh, they're actually going to opt to go trophy though. Okay, cool. So we'll see if that ends up throwing off the plots at all as uh, trophy is kind of like the secondary site. They're both really good, um, but normally people go trophy second and AV first. So we'll see if that throws off the plots or not. So far, the everyone's got a pretty decent lineup. Uh, I did a video with uh, plots and silver or sorry, golds and silvers and golds and plats and the lineups were a lot worse than this. So on the on the defense on the diamond side, this lineup's pretty solid, to be honest. And coming out from the attack, it's also pretty solid. Um, could be a little bit better, but it's not bad at all. All right, so it looks like Val's trying to get some cams out. I'm interested to see what Smoke is doing, because he's like way off site right now. He's just drone hunting. Word? Eight drone, seven, wait. Eight, yeah, eight. That's the word. Are we just not reinforcing this? Uh, I would. Oh. No, 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 no. We got wait, the Wait, what, what, what is it? What is it? Extending? No, no, don't, don't reinforce that. We need to rotate. Right. We have no one playing closet, but we're still gonna hold it. I can play closet. Let me play closet. Yes, yeah, so you've got your hard breacher by study. You've got some people by master. A lot of people by like bore window. Um, looks like you might even have sledge trying to push in through living here potentially or mudroom. So so far, there's no like definitive strat. What they really should be doing is they should be trying to take master, or or be doing like a full full on clear. Primo is begging to get his feet shot off right now. Uh, if he peeks that drone holes, the freest kill. Fighter just missing out on the kill on Malusi here. He's literally sitting on the drone hole. Wow, uh, Toe's gonna pick up the first kill though. On to Toki, who is Valk. Ooh, wow, what a shot by Primo though. Very nice. Wow, since picking up another kill. So we're on a 4v3 here. The defenders have the lead. Uh, looks like one of their teammates is, oh, I thought he was AFK. Trying to see what the defender or the attackers are wanting to do here. They're, they don't have any sort of map control yet. They're not doing a west side over. Wow, Pigeon gonna pick up that kill really quickly. One master window. Good kill, good kill. Is that, was that boar? So now it's a 2v4. The defenders are full health. The attackers are also full health. Um, but the defenders are able to take some more HP as they've got the, the dock on Pigeon. Wow, Sin's gonna pick up that kill. So this is a pretty flawless round, I must say, for the diamonds so far. They're getting kind of smoked. Primo's getting a little bit ballsy. I don't know why he did that. 
<clears throat> I mean, this should be wraps, honestly. Oh, he downed. Okay, so now it's now it's a one v two, and Sin's actually pretty lit as Pigeon wasn't able to heal him up. Wow, he just downed. He downed him through the wall. Wow. So fighter's trying to to pick this up. He doesn't know that smoke is close on the master door though. Ryan misses his shots. He's gonna push straight in. He won't reload his main gun. Where's the F2, bro? Fighter does, or Ry still does have smoke grenades though, so this could be pretty winnable for him. He's got two smokes left. Fighter just refuses to reload his main gun, which is interesting to me. Fighter doesn't know where he's at though. Now he does. He can't win this. The shotgun close. Yep, can't do it. Ry will pick it up. Wow. So the Platt's actually almost won there. I think if, if, uh, that was interesting. Wow. I think if fighters cross their placement was just a little bit better and oh, he said he had no ammo. He ran out of ammo on his main gun. Okay. So if he had his F2, he had ammo in it and he had a little bit better cross their placement. I actually think he would have won that there as Ryan kind of took a, a solid second to respond. Yeah. I don't know. How, Toad's bringing up a good point. How did he, how did he like run out of ammo before even entering the game? So weird. But that was a solid attempt by fighter. Can't lie. All right. So the diamonds are going to go back to AV now. Smart choice. You can always go back down to kitchen if they need to for their third site. But we'll see if they even win this round. Uh, as that was a little bit closer uh, than I thought it was going to end up being uh, for, the, for the end of that round. I really thought the diamonds were going to lock it out. But the... Or yeah, I thought that the diamonds just kind of started throwing a little bit. So I think that round was closer. Or was a lot further away than it looked that that round looked closer than it actually was only because the diamonds threw if the diamonds had played the game like properly it would have been fine there but they got a little bit too aggressive so fighter was able to like capitalize on that but we'll see if that happens this time all right so jay is running the buck dmr iron sights interesting. wow what a spot by primo this is interesting which is pushing up on this too I would love to see if this is actually going to work. Ooh, nice. Good shot by Zofia. Picking up Sin. There goes Thorn. Fighter's crouching up on a Primo here. This is going to be interesting. I think I think Primo gets his kill. No, he trolled. He trolled. Primo trolled. Unfortunate, bro. Primo would have had the freest kill there on Twitch. Oh, Fighter's got to pick it up. That was a wasted opportunity. So I'm not sure what their take is because computers is still trying to drone what fighters already cleared. I'm not really sure what they're up to. Three kill by Toki. Nice shot. There's gonna go the buck. So it's still never mind. Toki gets another pick. Wow, what a shot. So now it's a uh three on three. I don't know how uh he picked up that second kill. I think he just wall banged the skull door. Okay. One guy is literally prone behind maps table. Of course, it's Pigeon. Pigeon does the weirdest stuff, man, I swear. Fucking AV, right? The trophy? When's the trophy audio? I have a Malusi on 90, I think. Yeah, but trying to see the utility that's on the board. So, Pulse still has a C4. I'm not sure where Pulse is at. It's still on site. Pulse could always go underneath for a free C4 kill. They've got Ace, so they're going to open up the wall, 90. Oh, but there goes the C4 that I was talking about. So, there goes the Ace. And Pigeon's gonna swing out and get Fighter. Last one's 90 now. Oh, he's, he's making the right play though. He's being aggressive on this. Ooh, but he whiffed his shots. I was able to lock it out there. Wow, that was a little bit closer than I thought. Um, I think I think Computer's made the right play at the end, but he kind of just couldn't hit his shots, you know? Okay, so we're looking at a 2-0 lead for the Diamond players now. So this is gonna be their last defense round. And the last attack round for the plats. Now, something to keep in mind. Uh, Toki said he got a one-tap ball bang. Very nice. Um, something to keep in mind is that, generally speaking, like on this map, the defense is supposed to win two rounds, at least in ranked, and the attackers are supposed to win only one. So this is the round that the defense or the attackers are supposed to win. Defenders, quote unquote, should lose this. Doesn't mean they absolutely will. Um, it's just if the attackers are going to win one of the maps, one of the sites, it's more likely to be downstairs than it is any of the other ones. So we'll see if that stands true or not. Kind of gauge what their, where their drones are to, to try to kind of see where they're going to be at. But so far their drones are kind of all just AFK and spawn. So no specific direction yet. 
Looks like Toki's gonna come up and reinforce top floor though, so he's gonna try to hold upstairs potentially, or maybe just set this up for his other teammates. I wouldn't imagine that Toki would play upstairs. I think he's gonna reinforce and maybe, uh, yeah, make some holes. Maybe give his shield if he wants to. Um, Ellis should probably do that though. He's gonna do it, that's fine. Probably gonna just set the side up so that his teammates are able to play up here. For the teammates. Of course, Pigeon is doing his thing where he uh, shoots the barricade like 20 times and then shoots it and runs out. So far, no one's really near him though. Looks like the attackers are trying to do mostly a... Ah, oh, hold on. Code is just in here. So we got Sledge and Buck just pushing Pantry really aggressive. You've got Fighter and Computers pushing Mud. Wow, so Toad's already like in. They're, like they're aggressive in sight right now and the defenders are nowhere to be seen. All the defenders are pretty much offside except for Pigeon right now. Jay's gonna pick up Toki, who is the smoke roaming. So they've got full sight control pretty much. All right, but uh, Pigeon's gonna pick that kill up. They really need to, the other attackers need to help uh, Sledge in sight here. It looks like they're going to now. Rai's trying to come back to sight as well. Pigeon's kind of on, on his own here. He can't really deny the plant. Both of the other defenders are still off-site. Not really in a great position to help. <laughs> Pigeon's going to take a lot of damage. There goes Pigeon. So this is looking very good for the attackers. Am I trying to take that gunfight? Rai picking up one kill. Going for the other two. They're both in here. If, uh... Yeah, yeah. If Primo can push up on this, that'd be nice. He didn't push up enough with uh, Rai, though. So he's in a 1v2 now. Ooh, this is great. Nice, nice. So it's a 1v2 now. Or a 1v1. But... Jay's gonna get him. Unfortunate for uh, for Primo. So, uh, it did stand true. The attack did w pick up this round. So, that's a pretty normal sprint. Uh, even though the attackers are down in rounds, or the uh, Platinum team is down in rounds, uh, it's a pretty normal split. It's kind of what you'd expect to do. So, um, so far, this is pretty much how I expected it to go. I feel like the, the Plats could actually be ahead um, if just if, you know, like I said, uh, Fighter had ammo that first round and didn't waste it all outside the building. Could have won that 1v1 against uh, Rai, but all good. Now it's going to be our first defense round coming out of the plat players. So I'm interested to see how they hold this. We saw coming out of the diamond players that they actually held it pretty well. First round, the diamonds went uh, trophy, but the first round, the plats are actually going to go AV. So a slight difference. Not the major though. Looks like they're opting to reinforce the AV walls here. So sometimes you'll see people actually open up that wall that you just saw a Thunderbird reinforce. Uh, not always, but sometimes you do. Looks like they're going to go and just uh, reinforce it off for now. They've got no shotgun, so they're not going to really be able to hold main. I guess unless Toad can make eagle holes in the floor, it's going to be very difficult to hold main as you won't have any of the main holes. And you also don't have smoke to smoke anything off. So it's going to be kind of hard to hold that. Yeah, and it looks like they're not really trying to hold it anyways. jaeger has got two barbed wire in his pocket still. Oh, no, maybe they are going to try to hold this. Interesting. Yeah, so you can see all the attackers are lining up outside study right now. Sin's going to try to go for a sneaky play into the barrels in the basement. We'll see how that goes for him. The rest of the attackers so far, at least three of them, are trying to push in through ruins. We've got Jaeger trying to be a little bit aggressive on the study door. Sin's going to go into the other side of the map, though. This could catch them all off guard. Um, you have, you've got, like, Valk roaming downstairs. Oh, no. Uh, computers is also roaming over here as well. So he's got to pick up Sin and then Primo's dead as well. So there goes their Ash charges and their two nades. It's going to make it a lot more difficult to pick up any sort of frags on main stairs. Oh, but he doesn't know the Zofia's right there. Wow, what a flick, actually. Nice shot coming out of Toad. So it's a uh, oh, 4v1 right now. Toad is doing the most from beneath. Oh, my God. Wow, what a great round by the, the plat players there. That was nice. Very nice. Even without the, like, much main presence and even without the holes in AV wall, they were actually able to hold that pretty nicely, so. Defenders, protect your bombs right. from being defused by attackers. So, let's see if the defenders are going to be able to pick up another one of those uh, almost flawless rounds like they did before. I think they're debating on whether or not they want holes here. They don't, they have computers to make it. Yeah, there we go. Computers will make those holes. What is... How are we doing? I don't like this thunder replacement to be honest because that means someone could just like quick peek the door with their body and just get a free heal on attack. Uh, what is Toad doing? Toad is going to throw out an interesting Valcam here. Not quite sure that anyone's... Well, I guess Toki's near. 
Toki's near and so is Sin. So this could actually potentially get a kill. Wow, oh, Computers with another frag. Computers is playing great right now. Take a look at the scoreboard. He's got the most kills on the Platinum team right now. Fry bringing in the most for the Diamond team. Oh my god. I wonder if it's a nice shot. That's the bad. So the attackers have no hard breacher and they're all kind of master side, which isn't great because that means they can't really open the wall. So they need to kind of figure out what they want to do here. Like some of them are trying to drone below. You got Twitch on the night or the Asher repel, but you've got, you've got two people sitting outside master and they can't really do anything with this. So. Mm. Not really sure what their plan is. Oh, bro, what is he doing, man? Wow, fighter picking up a nice kill on Supremo. So there goes their Ash again. Ash and uh, Sledge have been dying first consistently. We got Pigeon pushing in though. Ooh, that's scary. If he blows that C4, I think it's uh, Thunderbird. Ooh, he got that kill. So that th that C4 is now inactive. There goes Thunderbird. Pigeon made a great play there. So it's a three on four. Make that a uh, four on two now. Uh, as fighter picks up another another kill fighters playing amazingly mm, another kill by fighter wow what a shot so now it's just toki versus uh the other five or the other four and he is a nowhere to be seen he is across the map right now the m762 they should all know where he is because he's yeah he's getting pinged he's making lots of noise as well wow there we go jay picking up the last kill fire very good defense by the plat players. Um, this is pretty close, to be honest. I mean, the plat players are one round away from taking this to map two already. They're already about to take this home. So props to the plat players here. We got some actual demons right now. You can see Fighter picking up eight frags in uh, five rounds so far, going eight and three. So props to him. You're just seeing uh, not, a, not as much fragging coming out from the diamond players, in my opinion. Uh, they're also kind of disjointed. No one wants to play hard breach here. So uh, they're kind of all just a little bit lost. So the defenders are now going kitchen. And we're going to see if they can pick up uh, a dub here or not. Last time the defenders went here, it was the diamonds. And they could not win this. The plots actually picked up that round. So we'll see if the plots are able to do anything differently so that they're able to win this. So far, it doesn't seem like they're doing anything crazy different they don't have the smoke roaming upstairs uh, but they do have a considerable amount of roamers still so we'll see how this works out for them looks like computers is going for a spot peek all right so looks like the attackers are maybe going to try to do like a master take potentially they're kind of all starting to rotate over towards master side so we might see like a master slash memo take we'll see what they want to do or maybe even a laundry take kind of all huddled up around laundry the only problem is no matter what they do, they don't have the greatest ability to be able to push um, anything. They don't have a hard breacher. Although Pigeon's going to pick up the first kill of the rounds onto Thunderbird. So he is not having a great day. He's 2-5 and five right now. Toki going to pick up another kill onto Computer. So there goes Alibi. Apparently, uh, God, I had a phone call. Unfortunate. I don't think Sin knows that he's right here. Nope. That's going to be an easy kill for Fighter. Fighter just ripping everybody apart this game. They're actually going crazy. They're just going to be down. So now it's just Rai trying to defend him. Fighter with another kill. Wow. It's insane, man. Easy kill for Rai. There goes Jay. That's their Legion dead. So it's a 2v2. Pigeon's pretty low HP. So it's going to be a little bit difficult for them to win. And they got Fighter alive still. Fighter's their best player, as I, as I said before. Ooh, Rai's gonna make an aggressive play here. Ooh, he kills off fighter. One more. Ran out of bullets. Where's where's uh Pigeon at to refrag him? Oh, they're both one HP and Pigeon wins it out. Wow. Very nice. That was a close round. But that does mean that the diamonds bring it to OT. So we're not quite onto a third map just or a second map just yet. Uh so props to the, the diamond players there. That was very nice. Honestly, for a second there, I thought we were about to go to map two already. Uh, that would have been a quick map. So we've got the plot players back on defense now. So let's see. They're going to go AV this time now that it's OT. And we've had both attacking teams now win the kitchen uh, bomb site. So as I said before, uh, it is kind of standing true that it is a lot more difficult to win that third bomb site than it is maybe trophy and AV. 
So we'll see if uh, that continues to be true. All right, so there's a little scoreboard check. We got Fighter going 10 and 4 right now. Uh, we got Pigeon going 7 and 4. That's the two top players for each team. Bottom players is God Eye for the flat team going 2 and 5. Bottom player for the Diamonds is Sin going 2 and 6. Poor Sin. It looks like the attackers are actually going to do like a study repel or study push. Now, the thing is, is that Toad is in a great position to run out here. You can see you've got all of the attackers repelled right now. If Toad runs out, he could potentially get a couple kills. But it looks like he's just going to opt to walk away. Probably the safer decision, to be fair. Uh, but he did have a couple kills lined up. Uh, looks like... Who is that? Doc is having a standoff with... Um, I don't know who it was. I think it was Sin. Fighter's going to make an aggressive push here. I IQ knows about it, though. That's going to be Pigeon trying to stop Fighter. Fighter's just trolling. He's got his pistol out. Ooh, he actually almost got him as well. I think... Wow, Fighter actually wins that out. I thought for sure Pigeon was going to win that. Wow. Nice shot. Then we're going to get off Repel now. Decide to Repel in and, and try to push in. You've got, what, Toki below. I'm not really sure what the push is here. The the Diamond's problems is that no one wants to play Hard Breacher. So they're kind of just stuck, not able to do anything. Well, what a, what a position by uh, Doc here, though. Wow. Rival Refrag, though. I would have been so mad if I was him dying to that. So where's Fighter at? Okay, Fighter's trying to hold down the 90. Or the, the main stairs in the study as well. One's going to push up right now onto him. Fighter knows about this, though. Could be able to get an easy kill here. Another kill for Fighter. Oh, my God. Ryan's going to try to push in now. Fighter's going to get him, too. Oh, my God. Bro. Maybe Fighter should be uh, ranking up the diamond, huh? What do we think, gentlemen? So far, Fighter is playing absolutely out of his mind. You would think he would be on the diamond team. Insane. All right, so that brings the plat players to match point once again. One more round, this round here, and they will lock it out, and uh, they'll go to uh, map two. Now, the thing is, is that no attacking team has been able to win AV or a trophy. Neither of them have won those attacks. The only two attacks that they have won have been on the third bomb site, which is Kitchen. So we'll see if they can actually pull this out. My guess is that maybe they'll end up going 4-4 here. And then the, the plat players are going to go back on defense Defenders where they can go to trophy. So the, uh, really what this game is going to come down to is one of these teams needs to win an attack round in which they haven't won before uh, in terms of bomb site. So one of these teams needs to either win uh, either the AV attack or the trophy attack. So far, neither team has been able to do that. But if they're able to do that, our team's going to win. But if not, if neither of them can win the attacks, uh, it looks like probably the plat team is going to win. Um, because kind of how that would work is since statistically the attacking team has not won against AV yet, the plats will probably lose this round. They'll go on to defense on a trophy. And since no attacking team has won against trophy, they may end up going to a second map pulling this out. So we'll, we'll see how that holds up uh, after this round here. We'll see if we even get to that. So far, we got to see if the plats can just something out of their ass and win this year. Thompson. Here you go. Couple, I think a couple are going master. One's going to front door right now. Fighter's doing all this trolling and he's still fragging out, bro. What a guy, man. What a guy. Give him props. So, I'm not seeing, like, a specific attack coming out from the attackers. They're not really doing anything. You can see we've got Sledge pushing Master. We've got Toad pushing Study Balk. You've got a guy pushing Art. Um, fighters pushing in through Memo. you got someone by Main. So, they're kind of all over the place. They're all solo pushing. And that's not really something you want to do when you're trying to act. Ooh, Fighter's in a position to get a free kill here. On a dock, though. Ooh, whiffing a lot. He's going to be aggro and trying to get this kill, but Toki's going to kill him. Easy kill for Toki. He's going to smoke him out. Good grab that kill. Oh, he missed the smoke. Okay, well, they could just leave him down, to be honest. Somebody's going to stim himself up. So, not only is Fighter down, but Computers is also 1 HP here. So, this is not looking great for the attack already. Looks like uh, they've got, what, Ace repelled here, trying to bait him into pushing Fighter. Yeah, fighter did whiff astronomically. Can't lie there. So, we've got Sledge pushing up here. Ooh, what a nice shot coming out of Sledge. They're going to try to pick up Fighter here. They can turn this around really quickly. Jay's going to get another kill onto Toki. They're rezzing Fighter right now, but Frost is on the flank as well. They got to watch Pigeon coming to the flank right now. 
He's about to kill everybody from behind. Oh my god, but Toad picked up the refrag there. They're actually in a... This is not that bad of a position yet. It's all up to Fighter now to win this out. And Fighter won it! Oh my god! Fighter being the MVP of map 1. 14 and 4 to win map 1 Villa. Oh my god. The Plats are going to beat the Diamonds in the first map. Incredible. Actually incredible. Cannot believe that. Now, I want to see... If they're going to be able to do something about fighter because fighter has been an absolute menace to society bro 14 and 4 last game an actual incredible uh performance out of out of uh fighter and he didn't really have anyone to match him on that you had Ryo with nine kills i think you had someone else else with nine kills but uh nevertheless you didn't have someone step up as much as fighter did and he really clutched up at the end quite literally winning them that game by uh doing what None of the teams could do at, uh, up until that point and won the attacking round in a 1v1 clutch for them. So, uh, pretty solid out of the fighter. Very impressive performance. They're going to ban the Jaeger. So, that's going to be the plot team banning Jaeger. That's interesting. So, the Diamonds are going to end up banning uh, Thatcher. Let's see what they're going to ban here for defense. Probably like a Mira is my guess. Yeah, there goes Mira. So, the, the Diamond team is going to stick to safe bans. They're going to... They're just going to ban uh, you know, Thatcher and Mira. The Plat team, however, they're going to get a little bit spicy. They're going to go with the Jackal and the uh, the Jaeger ban. The Jaeger one being the, the spicy ban. We'll see um, how that works out for them. I've played a few games with uh, no Jaeger before, and it always turns into like a frag fest. Uh, and not not actually in terms of uh, frag grenades. Like literally everyone's just trying to like peek each other because no one sits still on defense as soon as you take out Jaeger because uh, you'll just get naded. So everyone just starts peeking everything. So we'll see if that uh stands true for this game as well. So if we uh take a look at the lineups here Defenders for the teams we've got on Dagger. the attacking team, pretty solid lineup. Uh they got a hard reacher, which is good. Something we have not seen the diamond team doing is bringing a hard breacher. So I'm glad to see that the defenders are uh, or the plat team is bringing that out. So for the defenders, uh they got a pretty solid setup. I would say the alibi is not the best. Same with the orcs, but eh, it is what it is. They're probably just going to try to frag out, so respect to it. Pigeon is already down a little bit of HP. I don't know how. Oh, Pigeon's actually going to pick up a spawn peak here, and he actually might pick up Toad when he comes out of spawn. He's in a prime position to pick out Toad. Yeah, Toad has no idea. Toad's probably going to die to this right now. No, he just missed it. Wow, if he actually... Wow, if Pigeon stayed there, he actually might have killed him. What a play by Pigeon. That actually almost worked. That's crazy. We've got... Let's see. We've got Capital pushing Small Tower to Big Window. We've got Fighter and Computers trying to push out by White Window. Ooh, what a wall bang. There goes Toki. Toki's going to get down. I don't think they know that yet. Ryze going to pick up the first kill onto uh, Zofia. So there goes their Zof player. Rai is 1 HP now though, and they don't have a Dock or a Thunderbird. They're opening my wall. Is that Breach? Yeah. Oh, He's on the right, right side. No, he isn't. Oh, well then the ping is late. The plat player's drone incorrectly. This is actually going to work out pretty well for him here. Ooh, but that fire, that fire is bad, that fire! Wow, the fire coming out from Jay on the big window. You know Rai's molding about that one. Okay, so Toki's still 20 HP. Uh, the attack is pretty healthy, though. Besides being down one person, they're pretty healthy. Pigeon's gonna pick up the first kill uh, onto the attack, or the second kill onto attack. Wow, Pigeon with another kill. Very nice. So he just stopped their, their whole attack in, the, in their tracks here. One's gonna try to rotate in through main though pigeon knows about this He's ready for it Ooh, barely missed him pigeon's gonna dash right into oso very nice from computers holding the cross on that so now it's a 2v3 uh toki has one hp so this is pretty winnable if uh they could just isolate the uh the ones here smoke's gonna be going on a flank right now that's sin sin's gonna try to flank He's gonna try to get this guy off of the window right now he actually might as well if he stands up no he saw him okay a little bit of a troll from sin coming out Ooh, and he's going to get pieced up. So that's really good from the attack here. 2v2 now. Toki's still 1 HP. So the defender or the attackers have the advantage here. The defenders are are not doing quite good. Nice. Computers with another frag onto Toki. So it's just Prima now. He's going to get the first frag of the 1v2. Lit up. He's one shot. They're pretty close in HP, to be honest. Computers has the advantage just a little bit. 
15 seconds left. Primo's throwing out an impact grenade. Did a little bit of HP to him. Wow, very nice play by Primo. Locking it out for the, the, the uh, diamond team. Very nice. So the first round of the game, going to go over to the... Wow, what a nice shot. First round's going to go over to the diamond players. That was a long round, man. That round felt like 10 minutes. Sheesh. That really went to the last second. All right, so if we take a look at the lineup here, the plot players are once again going to bring that hard breacher. We love to see that. Defenders Something that I really wish the diamond players would pull out is a hard breacher. I feel like that's kind of the reason they lost a lot of their attacking rounds last map. But we'll see if they do that on this game. Uh, Pigeon's already taking some HP, probably making it rotates again as his Oryx. Um, fighters setting up some flank drones. They're kind of trying to see where the site's at right now. We've got a lot of drones outside front. One, uh, oh, Buter just got his drone shot. So we had three drones front side. We've got two drones back side. So we'll see what kind of push they're wanting to do here. Looks like they're not really sure which direction they want to push just yet. Um, bunker would probably be the best. Uh, especially if they brought more nades, considering there's no Jaeger. So holding the bunker is going to be really hard with just a Wamai. Let's see where they're spawning though. So we've got computers spawning over by Junkyard. Fighter in the gang spawning over by... Uh, Street, and then we got Jay and Toad spawning in the backside here. So they're not really pushing what I thought they were going to. They need fighter in the in the back with the nades, but he's gonna solo push. There's actually someone roaming over here as well. Uh, I could have swore there was. Yeah, Pigeon is roaming, and Fighter has no idea about that right now. Keeper's gonna not uh, notify him. So now now Pigeon knows that there's someone over there. I don't know if computers has drawn this either. It looks like the server is frozen a little bit. All right, the server is lagging. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, well, fighter's gonna pick up Toki. Unfortunate for Toki. That is not on. That is not on me. That is the servers. Uh, fighters is gonna get fragged out by Pigeon though. So nice refrag by Pigeon. Osa is still, you know, by freezer stairs though. Toad's gonna pick up another kill on a Rai. So that's gonna be their uh, aid gone. Uh, they still are lagging a little bit, but this is really unfortunate. You gotta love Rainbow Six Siege in year seven, right guys? So still a pretty strong attack coming out from the uh, plot players here. Sin is only like 10 health right now. Uh, a lot of the attackers are still stuck in place though. So this is almost like a 2v2. Which is in a great spot to pick up Jay here though. Apparently Rod died through a reinforcement. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Pigeon's gonna probably pick up Jay. There we go. That's our IQ down. So it's a 2v2. I think uh Zofia's still lagging. This lag is really unfortunate. He can't even move. We might have to rehost this round. Bomb located by attackers. Pigeon shooting walls and killing people. Oh god. We might have to rehost this round then. I I, I believe. Oh, no, Zof can move now. Or maybe not. <laughs> it is a 2v1 though. So Sin's just trying to hold his own there. What an interesting position by Sin. This actually might get a kill. Okay, it's like mainly the Zof that can't move. Everyone else is fine. It's just him now. Uh, uh, Sin has the bomb though right now. So Sin is 1 HP, but he's in a prime position to win this because they don't know where he's at. And Zofia just can't move. So this is essentially a 1v1 right now. Uh, they've got the bomb now. It looks like Zof's able to move just a little bit. Still effectively a 1v1. He saw him, shot him through the wall. There we go. Easy frag. So that's going to be the second round one. Probably going to have to rehost this as everything's kind of just lagging. Unfortunate. All right. So we did a little bit of a rehost because uh, the server was lagging. Uh, the teams decided that they thought it was fair that we kept the score as it was 1-1. So they both agreed on that. So we're going to start from there. I actually, re I, I named the teams as well because I forgot to do that earlier. So uh, we're going to have the plat players back on attack. So far, it's 1-1. The defenders won the top floor as their first uh, site, and they lost the laundry room as their second site. So we're going to see how this goes for the uh, defenders this time. They really should be winning the downstairs. They should be losing their third site. Kind of like how we were talking about last game with Villa, where you're supposed to lose the third site if you're going to lose one of them. You're kind of supposed to lose the third site on this map as well. So uh, it's not the end of the world. It, it's not like anything crazy. Um, it's just kind of like on average how things go. Uh, anyways, we will see... Um, what they are up to now. I want to see if they're actually going to hold, uh, 
bunker a little bit better this time because they they kind of all just got smoked last time all right Rai, you cannot be making those holes you got to have smoke make those holes Stoke you at. Sin is AFK. He's got two of his Thunderbirds down. Or, or uh, needed to be placed down. Alright, so we've got a, a lot of people spawning front and junkyard. No one spawning in the back from the attackers. So we might see a front take this time. Unless Toad and them are going to rotate over uh, and push bunker. But so far, we've got three people pushing in through small tower side. So we may end up seeing them do a west over. Uh, kind of like a roam player. And they, they might end up pushing like front stairs and freezer stairs, but we'll see what they're going to end up doing here. Oh, wow. Ella's going to pick up the first kill pigeon. Very nice. Uh, ooh, is he going to go for this? I want to see the one tap. No, nope, he's going to leave. He knows that spider, bro. He don't want to have anything to do with that. All right. So it looks like Blackbeard's in the back. I don't know why. Whoa. Okay. Sin is just roaming right there. All right. So the roam game coming out of the diamonds is really helping them uh win this round here yeah that was terrifying okay so it's now a 3v5 and the attackers don't have any map control uh toad and blackbeard are trying to push the back but fighter is trying to solo push the front here or at least by freezer so we'll see how that's going to go for him we'll keep an eye on him probably going to try to solo push down uh freezer stairs no one is really holding that oh i guess Pokey's holding this Ooh. Okay, didn't take any damage there. Jay's gonna pick up the first kill for the defense or for the attack out of the defense. So there goes Primo. Where is Blackbird at? He's rotating to the front side. Oh, okay, there we go. So there goes Pigeon. Toad's gonna pick him up. Very nice. So it's a three and three on three now. The defense is definitely in favor for the HP. Looks like we might have Toki trying to play a little bit aggressive here. Uh, they may not know he's doing this. This could be a freebie. They are opening the hatch, but he's gonna push up here. Oh, no. This could be really bad. Yep. There goes the hatch. Fighter's going to pick that up. Fighter's actually going to drop on this as well. Despite the fact that Rai is trying to hold this. And then you've also got Sin uh, playing Pillar. So they've got a nice little crossfire on the door. They need someone to rotate front. They need Blackbeard to go front side. Because they're all three freezer. And it's not really helping them. They need someone to rotate. Yeah, this is not going to end end greatly for them. I, I, I would have to imagine. Yeah, Ryze going to pick up that kill. They've still got a crossfire on the door. Okay, yeah, fighter pushed in. Wow, so Jay picked up the other kill as well. So that ended up going a little bit differently than I thought. I, I definitely expected the defense to win that just based off the fact that they didn't really have anywhere to push th through besides that door and I guess the wall after they opened it up. But, uh, bruh. Attackers need to locate and defuse all right, so it's going to be the plot player's first round on defense. So far, the plots are actually taking this away. Despite the fact that they started on attack, which generally you're supposed to have the reverse split uh, from what we see happening now. You're supposed to see the defense win two rounds and the attack win one round. But so far, we've seen the opposite. We've seen the defense lose two rounds and the attack win uh, two rounds. So kind of interesting. It's not quite what you normally see. Uh, I'm a little bit impressed with how the plots are playing, to be honest with you. I definitely expected the diamond players to kind of take the lead with this, take charge. So far, though, the plot players have really been uh, pretty impressive here. Five seconds to insertion. Oh, they, they've got a lock on it. No way. Fighter's trying to do my spawn peak. Fighter's doing my spawn peak, but they've got a drone on this, so they just already know. They already know. Sin's going to Sin's gonna round this corner and pre-fire that. Or who is it? It was Primo. There we go. Yeah, no, you can't do that. Well, there goes uh, two of the plot players down instantly, trying to spawn peek. Uh, not even a little too aggressive. They got way too aggressive. They had two guys peeking garage. <laughs> okay, so Jay is running the iron sights. These are actually kind of clean. I can't lie to you. Those look pretty nice. Grim is going to try to drone in. They don't have one of the walls reinforced into attic, which is odd. So I guess they're just going to try to do a default master take. They don't have a hard breacher for it, though. Wow, this run out by Jay instantly refragged by Rai, though. I'm not sure why Rai is still in spawn like that. But he probably would have died to Primo anyways. Speaking of Primo, he's going to get taken out by Toad. 
Toad's gonna take it out by Toki. Toki might get taken out by Thunderbird. Oh my god. So now it's uh, a 1v2. He's just now making rotates. Rai is nowhere to be... Oh no, Rai's here. Sin's nowhere to be found. Sin is just downstairs. He really needs to come up and help his teammate. If he could come up white stairs here and flank Thunderbird. Yep, exactly what he's gonna do. Perfect. All right, so good coordination uh, on the last two players of the diamond team there. Very solid. The plat players, in my opinion, got a little bit aggressive. And by a little bit, I mean way too aggressive. They decided to peak garage, and that was just simply not the play. They should have maybe had, at the most, one guy peak garage. But they had two different people do that. So that was a little bit too aggressive, in my opinion. Okay, uh, so let's see what the lineups are looking like once again. Again, the attackers on the diamond side are refusing to bring a hard breacher. I say it over and over, but it's seriously something that's really costing them. They were able to pick up the round uh, last round, but that's not going to consistently happen. Like you had two plot players really throw last round, so it's going to be difficult for the diamonds to cons consistently win out rounds with no hard breacher. So you can see this drone a little bit. Yep, he sees it. Uh, maybe it's spectator, but he can see that pretty clearly. Looks like computers is priming a jump out here. Left. Prepping that. See where the attackers spawn. Maybe one of them's gonna be in the line attackers of sight of that. Uh yeah, so you've got Pigeon. Pigeon is gonna be the first person to contact this alibi, most likely. So we'll see how that goes. He's actually making a line of holes here too. I don't understand what he's doing. I'm just gonna rotate off of that though. Ooh. Ooh, if he just shot. He has no idea, but if he just shot. Wow. You've also got someone in small tower right now. Who is that in small tower? Malusi. Interesting. They're just going to repel on this window. This is an easy kill for Malusi. He doesn't know it, but this is such an easy kill for Malusi. If they just had call outs here. Yep, you're going to see Malusi rotate over. Uh, but I think it's too late. Yep, it's too late. Unfortunate. Sin's going to pick up a kill onto computers. Computers going to pick up a kill onto Rai. So there goes your alibi for defense and your Iana for attack. That well, Mai's gonna save Thorn right there. Wow, nice kill by Jay. Picking up the pistol kill on a pigeon who's playing big window. Very nice. Primo's on uh, like 30 HP here. So is Fighter. So pretty even on terms of uh, HP, but they are at a disadvantage in terms of man count on the attacking side. Fighter could go for an easy C4 here. He's got two kills primed right above him. If he just throws the C4, he's got two kills. Throw the C4, Fighter. Yes. He got no kill. Is that clock click? Can you not see for that? I don't think you can see for that. My game says it's not there. My map knowledge is just gone. Primo is in the site. And so is Toki. They don't know that fighter's flanking though. Toad actually just left the game. Toki's going to get another kill. Uh, I don't know if they know fighter's flanking right now. But fighter is very much so in the site. There goes uh, Jay. Since going to pick that frag up. So it's just fighter now. Fighter has been their best player. But it doesn't matter. Primo's going to pick him up. Nice shot by Primo. The Ash Reflex as well. Interesting. Ooh, what a shot. Very nice. All right. So it is a match point for the Diamonds. If they win this round, they're going to pick up the uh, the map point. And they're going to head over to the third map now. Good to see the Toad join back. I'm not sure what happened there. Lots of technical difficulties this map, unfortunately. But this is the last potential map um for the diamond players so they better hope that they can lock this out here if they can't if the plot players can can bring this back and they can go to uh match point and win this game it's over for the diamond so this round uh has a lot of weight in it and once again no hard breacher coming out from the diamonds but so far it's not been that big of a problem the plot players have not even been reinforcing properly so uh, so lots of drones headed towards like freezer side. You can see we've got Toki's drone as well as uh, Pigeon's drone freezer side. We've got uh, Sins and Rise towards the back though along with uh, Primo's. So we'll see. Looks like they're going to want to do a back take. Doc's going to get a little bit aggressive here. We'll see if he can get away with this. Looks like he might see Rai or Sin first. Yeah, looks like he might sin see Sin first. Oh, Sin's... Yeah, Sim was preeming that though. Good thing uh, Doc ran away from that. He actually probably would have got smoked. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back for this. Ooh, nice, nice. There goes Sin. Sin's gonna lose that out. Fighter's gonna pick up another kill as well. So it's already a 5v3 for the defenders. Very nice. 
Ooh, Sin could easily run out here. That guy's on cams. If he can do this in time, he could easily get this guy. I don't even think that Pigeon knows this either. Hmm. This is going to be... Wow. Nice shot coming out of Fighter. Wow. Already a 5v2. So it looks like the Platts potentially might bring it to OT here. Uh, Doc's trying to heal Fighter up. There we go. Fighter's going to be full health now. So this is looking really good for the defense. Uh, they've still got roamers to clear. They've got uh, code roaming and they've got computers roaming. Jay's going to pick up a kill on the Toki. So it's a 1v5 now. It's all up to Rai. Rai's in the garage just trying to hold an angle. He's got a lot of people to clear though. There's, there's people everywhere. Honestly, if he can get to the site, he's actually in a pretty solid uh, spot here. If he can rotate, he's going to pick up the first kill on the dock. He knows Legion's going to run out. Mm, unfortunate. Jay's going to pick that up. Wow. Incredible round coming out of the plot players. I'm actually pretty surprised. The mechanical skill being demonstrated out of them is, is pretty impressive, I gotta say. All right. So uh, we're on OT now. The plot players are gonna be on defense uh, once again. The attackers is the diamond teams. Still no hard breacher. Love to see it. Um. I'm, I'm going to just see what they're going to push this time. Like, the problem is, is that, like, they're letting the plot pairs just peek. Them, and they're just not winning their gunfights. If we take a look at the scoreboard here, it's evident in that as well. You'll see that the plot players, uh, sure, not all of them are fragging. But you're having guys like Jay and Fighter pick up a lot of frags right now. And sure, you've got Sin with four frags as well, uh, matching Fighter. But you don't have as many frags coming out on the Diamond team as you do on the plot team. Which is considering, uh, or, uh, you know, Adding to the fact that uh, you know, they just can't pick up any rounds. Here. They're getting hatches kind of late as well right now. We've got Jay in the garage being very aggressive. He can get held here if Pigeon were to hold him there. Oh, he actually was able to walk back down the site. He did take some damage, but they've got Doc. So he can easily come back and just get some HP really quickly. Agent going to pick up the first kill out of Fighter. So there goes uh, Pulse. Not the biggest deal as their basement, but that is one of their best players down. So it's pretty notable still. 4v5 for the defense. So the attackers are pulling out the advantage here. Toad is lagging again. I think that's just Toad because he's already DC'd once. Uh, if Toad ends up DCing, that's going to be a pretty bad spot for the Platts as it's going to be a 3v5. Yep, there goes Toad. Unfortunate. So 3v5 now for the attackers, for the defenders. They are going to heal up Jay, which is nice. The attackers are moving in pretty fast right now down main stairs. You've got, uh, what, almost all of them pushing the front right now. No one's going freezer that I could see, though. Ooh, Jay doing a lot of damage to, uh, actually, he's not doing any damage. He's just taking a lot of damage. He's going to heal himself back up, though. At least I would expect him to. There you go. Okay. So, let's see. Sin is joining top floor still, as Alibi is actually still roaming up here. So, they're going to have to clear this Alibi out. He could drop Garage as he just opened up the hatch. Doc's going to get an easy kill onto uh, Primo and Toki. Wow, nice shots coming out of them. Ooh, Alibi's wasting a lot of time right now, man. There we go. Pigeon's going to clear out the Alibi. The, she wasted a lot of time, though. And with the two picks that Doc picked up, the attackers are not in a great spot. Especially with the fact that uh, Jay was able to walk up and just do a bunch of damage to Rai. He's going to get picked up, I'd assume. But uh, he's going to be 20 HP. Jay with another frag. Very nice. So there it is now a 2v1, unless Sin's able to pick up Rai. Um, I don't know. If, yeah, Doc doesn't have any stims left. So Jay is going to continue to be like 1 HP. They're trying to bait out this kill here, but I don't think they're going to push it. So Sin's just going to walk down and pick him up now. Attackers have recovered their okay, so Jay's 20 HP, Rai's 20 HP. Uh, the HP advantage is in the attackers as Sin has a little bit more HP than Doc. But uh, not the end of the world. It's a pretty even 2v2 here. I would say I would definitely rather be on the defense right now, though. Both of them are kind of pushing the same angle. Vigil's in a very unexpected spot, but it's not going to matter because Rai's going to kill him there. Sin's going to try to stun out. There goes Rai, or uh, Jay. All at the dock now. He's going to flank. I don't think they know he's here. Did a light up uh, Zofia quite a bit. Oh my god. Bro, he tried to kill him with a shotgun. 
He has to for he has to force the plan now. Yep. Wow. Operator That's gonna be the plot right players. Right. Forget it to match point. Four to three. I don't understand why Rai was uh pulling out his shotgun there. Maybe he read it of ammo or something. Um but that was that was strange to say the least. Very good plays by God Eye, or however you say his name. I don't know how you say it. Good good goody. I don't know. Well played by him and uh Jay. They they locked that out pretty well. And despite Toad disconnecting and um, I believe it was Fighter getting picked off pretty much instantly, maybe it was spawn peeking, uh, despite it being a 3v5, they were actually able to win that out. So poor, poor plays by the Diamond players. Um, well played by the Plat players, though. All right. So now the Plat players are on attack. This is the round they need to win if they want to lock it out. If the attackers win this, if the Plat players win this right now, it's over. They, they basically 2 0 the Diamond players and it's wraps. Um, if the diamonds can win this out, they're going to have a tough road ahead of them as yes, they are on defense. It's more likely that they'll win this round. The problem is that the next round they're going to be on attack. And as you've seen, it's been pretty difficult for these teams to win on attack, especially with the attacking team, not running hard breachers. Although I will say, I do believe the diamonds have won the majority of their rounds on attack. Um, so you never know. Uh, maybe it'll be the opposite. We'll see. Not really sure what Sin is doing. My AFK. Looks like he might want to run out. Uh, so you got Pigeon trying to spawn peek, doing <laughs> Pigeon things as he does. Walls all opened up. That's interesting. And they're being very aggressive here. They're drawing him out. He's gonna try to get some damage on the impact grenade, but sadly no one walked in for him. So one's gonna repel on the window here. Jay's gonna repel on the window. I think Pigeon knows that he's there. Toki knows that he's there, and he's gonna pick up that kill. Very nice shot for Toki. I can't even find him. One is invert repelled. One is invert repelled. Wow, Primo's gonna pick up a nice shot onto Fighter. So there goes their uh, IQ. I don't know what Toad is doing. Toad's gonna try to open up the wall now. They've got no denial on it, so that's great. One's gonna swing trophy. Primo's being very aggressive. He's gonna get downed by the grenade. Toad is stuck in the closet, but he's actually gonna win that. Toad's got a shotgun on Ace. He's gonna die, but he did pick up the kill on the Toki. Primo's still down, so it is a 2v3. This is actually not that bad. I don't think that uh, Sludge knows this, though. Sin is also... Where is Sin? Sin is underneath. I don't know that... Um, Sludge knows this. So he's probably going to pick up the easy kill onto Alibi there. He's going to call that out to Sin, though. Computer's picked up a nice kill onto whoever that was. I didn't even get to see, actually. Fighter's going to try to flank, or uh, Sin's going to try to flank. Wow, did a lot of damage to himself with that grenade. Doing a 360. I don't know what he's trying to do there. Sin's got that kill. So, uh, Rai's going to pick up the last kill. Damn. So, the defenders did win that. So, we're going to 4-4 four, four. once again. So this is uh, still tough. The the diamonds still have a lot to lose. You know, the plots could lose this round and go into map three and it's not that big of a deal. But the diamonds could lose this here and it's over. Video done. <clears throat> All right, so we've got the uh, plots going to defense now. They're going kids dorms. I actually forget if they were if they were the ones to win that or not earlier. Um, but it is preferred to be on defense when you're on a, uh, you know, on, on Oregon. So they're definitely in the position that I would want to be in. I would not want to be on attack. The diamonds are sticky with no hard breacher. It's been working for them so far, so we can't talk too much on that. They, uh, they actually have won at least one or two defense or attack rounds so far with no hard breacher on this map. So they actually have a, a pretty good track record with winning attacks, especially on this map. So we'll see if they're able to win this and bring it to map three. If not, it's over. Looks like uh, Doc's making a nice penis in the wall. Very nice. All right, so Doc's gonna try to spawn peek here a little bit. And so let's see, no one is really spawning junkyards, so he's not gonna get anybody with that. Now, most of them are spawning front side. So let's see. He actually might be able to get a kill off this. One of them's AFK and spawn. Yeah. Um, who, Sin is trying to push it through base and it looks like he might try to go up freezer stairs and then into white is what I'm guessing he's going to do. 
Uh, Doc is taking a little bit of damage. I think Primo was lighting him up there a little bit. Looks like it was. Oh, Doc's gonna hit this window though. Would be an easy kill on a Primo. Okay, so who is getting shotgun? Pigeon just got shotgunned by Toad. Toad has Malusi shotgun. Ryan's gonna kill Toad. Toki's gonna kill Fighter. So there goes the Capkin and the Malusi down. Uh, Toki is about 30, 40 HP now. Pigeon's dead. So the advantage is in the attackers at the moment. Sin is kind of trying to get some nades from below onto white. Uh, wow. So it looks like Doc was able to down Primo on Ash. So Primo's going to be 20 HP now, but he was able to get refragged by Twitch. So HP advantage is definitely in um, the defenders, but they have the man count by far on the attack. Uh, Jay has iron sights. Dude, everyone's running iron sights. They're kind of clean though. Ooh, this is bad for Alibi. Yep, Alibi's gonna go down. Looks like the, the uh, diamonds might actually pick this up. Wow, there it goes. Primo's gonna pick up the last kill. So that is the diamonds winning map two. So on to map three now. Very well played by the by the diamonds. All right, map three. Uh, see if these guys are able to pull it out. Um, they're both one one now. So anyone's game at this point. All right. So the diamond's gonna come out and ban Thatcher. Aqua ban, fire. The default ban so far. Let's see what they're gonna do for defense now. Mirror ban, very nice. Probably gonna see like, uh, probably Cade to be honest. I would be surprised if they don't ban Cade. Either Cade or Valk, but I would personally, I'd rather ban Cade on this. Wow, okay. Well, I was right. I mean, it was either Cade or Valk, but I'm surprised they didn't ban Cade to be honest. Uh, I would assume that well, I guess, I guess they're on defense. So actually it does make sense. That they don't ban Cade. Uh, they got defense first. I would expect them to go downstairs and abuse the Cade. Although like generally speaking, they haven't been wanting to go like support ops. The uh, diamonds haven't. The diamonds all want to go like a frag op and frag out. So we'll see. It's not like the most supportive op, but like generally people would rather play something else. So they're going to go upstairs so far. Mm, yeah, pretty basic lineup. Not bringing the, not bringing actually any anti breach, which is interesting. Um, at that point, if you're not even going to run Cade, you might as well ban it, right? Like if you're not going to run the operator and it's like really good to run, you should just ban it. So the other team can't do it. Attackers need to locate and defuse bomb. All right. Uh, let's see what the defense is going to set up here. Uh, there goes fighters shown already. That's unfortunate. Own KIA. Unfortunate. Uh, so far, it's a pretty default hold. Uh, they don't have a smoke, so they're not going to be able to make very many rotates. They've got probably the impacts on Toki, so they're going to have to rely on Toki's impacts. Or maybe actually Primo's if he didn't bring a Wolford Cam, uh, which he did not. So they can make rotates. They're not going to have like the line of holes on Garage, though. They're just going to have a, a rotate if they want it. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. Yeah, they don't even have the middle wall reinforced yet. They're kind of like slow to set up, honestly. Oh, wow. So Ryze already going to pick up one kill. I guess he did a little bit of a spawn peek on a computer. So there goes their Zof player. Not the end of the world. Um, but oh, okay. That is bad, actually. Pigeon just picked up another frag onto their Finca player. So that is a lot of utility gone already. And fighters already just about 50 HP. Uh, so this is not going good for the pack at all yet. The diamonds are on their game right now. Uh, although, with all that said, the plats have managed to open up the wall. So they've got the main wall open. Uh, all they need to do now... Ooh, wait a minute. He's got a shotgun again, bro. Code is such a troll, man. I swear to God, him and these shotguns. Oh, Pigeon's downstairs. Gonna try to kill him now. Oh, there's no way he wins this. Oh, no, no, he, he can actually win this. He doesn't, he doesn't, Pigeon doesn't know he's a shotgun. Oh, nah, Pigeon got the kill anyways. And Primo's gonna pick up another frag on two. Actually, I actually don't even know who that was. I think it was Jay. Wow, Sin with another kill. Flawless round coming out for the diamond players. Very impressive. Wow, what is C4? My God. You really chunked that across the map, jeez. Okay, so first round goes to the diamond players. 
The defense is going to opt to go downstairs now, which is smart. Toad is DC'd again. Bro, Toad is not having a good time, man. That is unfortunate. I, I think Toad's internet is like buggy today or something. He's he's normally fine. I play with him all the time. He's normally fine. Um. Anyways, though, so that's really unfortunate for the attacking team. Uh, they don't really want to rehost. It seems like so they're gonna probably just play this out as a four v five, which is unfortunate. Uh, I do I have an audio bug now. I did for a second. Who just now returns? So I guess he'll be able to set on flank cams and such for them. Uh, they only have the one hard breacher now though, which is on fighter. So they'll be able to open up dirt and like one hatch. Uh, although trying to get kitchen hatch as Maverick is like kind of a nightmare. So five seconds left. Good luck to him, I guess. They're probably gonna have to do like a blue dirt take or like a birch, uh, arsenal or something like that. Red, birch blue. So Primo's getting a little bit aggressive, trying to run out. Ooh, wow! Primo actually got that kill. That's actually crazy. Pigeon's trying to do- Oh, Pigeon's dead as well. Jay just picked up that frag. Wow. Uh, that was a nice shot by Jay. It's a long angle for a hollow. Wow, Primo ran out. This is- They're being super aggressive, man. Diamonds are uh, not joking around right now. I think they're going to try to rush site, though. Or try to kill the vigil. Uh, Primo has no idea. Yeah, Primo and Sinner up here. They, mm, if they just- If they rush site, they have a 2v2 on site. Uh, unless they go down blue. Yeah, it looks like they're probably going to opt to go down blue now. Unless they want to flank all the way to church, uh, hard. Alright, there goes, there goes Fighter. Fighter's going to be down. So now it's a 1v4 for God Eye. He's going to pick up the first kill. He's got another one in bar. He's only got a 1v2 on site. Fighter is not dead, so he actually could res him, but it's going to be pretty hard to do. Not gonna matter though, because Rai picks up the last kill. Or actually, no, it was uh, Toki. Very nice. So, 2 0 for the uh, the diamonds now. Pretty expected. Uh, they are gonna have to go to the third site now. Um, on this map though, the third site's actually like really, really, really good. So, we'll see how well this actually goes over for them. Uh, my guess is the diamonds could actually pull this out pretty easily and go up 3 0. Uh, and if they can, it's gonna be pretty strong for their uh their attacks that means they can actually make some mistakes without it mattering too much defenders protect your bombs from being defused by attackers okay well Toad is having some technical difficulties but he's back now so hopefully he's able to reconnect and stay in the game this time uh so they had to play a 4v5 last time which was kind of unfortunate for them uh but all good uh nope this time god eyes left wow Dude, these guys have it rough right now. First Toad DCs, then God Eye. This is crazy. <laughs> a lot of players need a nerf. Yo, that's actually kind of true though. They've been, they've been playing crazy, so. Rai's gonna go for a little spawn peek here. Toki's still trying to set up the site. Poor Toki, slaving away, trying to open up all the angles and everything because this team just won't help him. Toki's the only guy playing support, man. Yo, Toad, don't do it, bro. A little close to the edge there, man. All right, so uh, no specific attack coming out from the plot players just yet. Um, wow, they actually, he opened that right in front of Thorn. Thorn just didn't shoot him. So that's going to be Pigeon gone. Fighter picking up the first kill. They're playing very heavy cash side right now. They've got a lot of people over here. Uh, ooh, wow. Okay, so that's going to be Bandit dead. That's Rai gone. Fighter picking up another kill. Computer's got another kill on the Primo as well. Jay's only three health, and Computer's is dead, so the Sin's going to take him out. They're trying to push in. Oh, they're all over him. Yeah, they had the drones on him there. He was screwed. Alright, so it is just down to Toki in a 1v2, although Jay is 1 HP, will not matter, Fighter had a 3k. Very nice, so despite them being down one player, because uh, God Eye disconnected, uh, Fighter was able to pick up the nice little 3k there and help clutch out the round for his team, so it was very nice. Well played by Fighter. Uh, so far being one of the best players, like, both teams, so very nice. Okay.
Uh, so this is going to be the first round for the um, lot players on defense now. Sin's going to be bringing out a line, which is interesting. They don't... Oh, they... Uh, <laughs> Tokiyashi is running the hard reacher. Let's go. So they know that they need a hard reacher for this map because you literally need to locate can't and win with that one. Hmm. Um, I'm interested to see where they're going to push from. Probably just a default push. They might open up the top right of like the... Uh, the CC balcony. They're all AFK on the defending team. Toad and God Eye are AFK. All right, it's all Fighter J and Computers trying to set up right now. I don't know what Toad and God Eye were doing. We are I get some last seconds reinforcements down on the garage. Yeah, they're getting a lot of last second reinforcements down. My God. What is Toad doing, bro? Toad drawing a penis. Are moving out to locate a bomb and defuse it. Bro. All right, so it looks like the attackers are kind of spawning in a mixed area. They've got um, a lot of people, you know, spawning over here, junkyard. They got a lot of other people spawning uh, panels. So I don't see like a specific push they're doing just yet. What is? Oh, that's unfortunate. You get a shotgun, bro. They reinforced the right wall instead of the middle wall. I don't know why they did that, actually. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like uh, Toki's trying to get open this wall here. Oh, they, they actually banded it, though. I think I think Fighter threw a Kade on it last second or something. Uh, I heard all the Habanas going down, and there's nothing on the wall. Just electricity. So, there goes her Habana pellets. Let me actually see how many she has left. She has six pellets left. So she's not in the greatest position. Oh, wait. I don't think he knows that. Yeah. God, I was just right there like that. So that's bomb down. So computer's got to pick up a kill on Primo. God, I's got the kill on to uh, Toki. And they have bomb down now inside of uh, Raj. Sin is below for some reason. Pigeon might actually be able to walk into sight, though. Attackers have located a bomb. Raj's fighting his demons at the moment. Then he's got to pick up a kill from underneath. I actually don't know how he did that. Jay is underneath as well. He might be able to get a kill on Jay here. Oh, yep. Jay might get this kill. Very nice. Jay's going to pick up that kill in a sin. So that's a 2v4. Diamonds are uh, struggling a little bit here on attack so far. They still have bomb down. So they are big chilling right now. Yeah, Ryan and Pigeon are going to try to push together and uh, grab the bomb. They're gonna have to peek the same door unless one of them rotates off to a different angle though. So, ooh, he saw his head there for a second. Ooh, unfortunate. Jay's gonna pick up the kill there. Rai's gonna get another kill onto uh, whoever that was. And Jay's gonna kill Rai. Pretty solid defense coming out from the plat players. Uh, the diamonds were definitely a little bit disorganized and Toki walking in solo with bomb was kind of a mistake. And they were able to, they let, uh, what do you call it? Cade put something back on the wall. So that really screwed them, in my opinion. Illegal skins rehost, unfortunate, bro. <laughs> that is a cool operator card for Vigil, though. Alright, so the plot players are actually going to go the third site first. Or, or second, I guess. They're going to go gym. Actually, not that not that dumb of a move. It's actually pretty smart. Got to throw them off a little bit. I actually really like gym. Uh, sometimes I like going gym first. It's just a little bit unexpected when you do it it throws some people off and then it's also just it's a solid sight to be honest i actually really like it War reinforced. the attackers do have a hard reacher but it's just maverick so they're gonna have to mav trick a wall have sin probably open it or that or toki i guess be a better option oh no they gotta they know exactly what toad's doing right there I don't know what he's doing with all the melee holes. Oh, he's making penises. <sighs> well, they got a joke on him doing that. So he's going to have to be a little bit careful here. It uh, looks like Toki might try to take him out as he was the one droning him. He's going to hop back on that drone and see where he's at. This could be an easy kill for him. Toad's going to rotate off. That's pretty smart of him. He's just trying to do a peek, but no one's over there, so he's not going to get anything. So, he 
attackers aren't really doing much of anything. They don't have Toki anywhere near to end up getting this wall. Um, Primo wants to map the wall, but he doesn't have anyone to cover him. So we need, I think he's waiting for Sin to come over, but it's like their communication is not great as he's just watching Sin run away. Uh, I don't really know what they're trying to do right now. Primo's, oh, Primo's waiting for Pigeon maybe? Okay. Uh, Code is placing Malusi's very late into the round. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a freebie. Oh, yes. See it. Oh, unfortunate. Pidge is going to get that killed. Uh, honestly, I thought uh, Toad might have gotten that frag there, but Pigeon was ready for it. So, uh, so good start for the attackers. Sin's got another frag. Very nice. Very nice. Toki and Sin are both pushed up. Sin's are actually in the site right now. Wow, Jay's gonna get that frag. Toki will refrag, kill, uh, kill Jay. Scooter's gonna refrag, kill Toki. So now Rai's trying to hold the cross so that Jay can't move back in. Ooh, that's unfortunate timing. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have uh, Primo planting. Attackers activating diffuser. This is rough for Jay. Yeah, that was pretty much impossible. So, match point for the diamond players now. Uh, one more round and they take it home. Been looking like he wanted a team kill a little bit there. <laughs> so the defenders, uh, the plat players are now going to try to go for basement. So they, they had all three sites open and they're, they're going to decide to go basement. They went gym first. They lost that. So let's see what the attackers do to this. They might be expecting them to go upstairs, uh, but they're actually going to go downstairs now. Cade is available and they're not running Cade. Neither team are running Cade. And Cade would be pretty powerful here. You're able to like, Cade off the hatches. And uh, I mean, they have the Maverick to counter that, but um, I mean, Cade is better than no Cade, in my opinion. Definitely better than like the Alibi or the Vigil or even the Mute. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb All right, so looks like the majority of the attackers are spawning construction and then also uh, shipping. Got Toki spawning over by kennels or warehouse. Um, not sure what their strat is just yet. I think they're kind of all doing their own thing. Um, uh, what is this by computers? They haven't reinforced dirt and computers is just crouched in here. Oh, nice nade by Pigeon. He's going to get the first kill for uh, attack. Defense is going to lose uh, Malusi. Primo is going to try to get the hatch. This is a dangerous thing to try to do, though. You can see, I think that's Mute Fighter. Or no. Who is this? Oh, it's Wamai. Well, sorry. He's trying to hold it down and stop him from opening this. Hmm. Rai's in a fight right now with Jay. He's just going to decide to hop down. I think that's a smart move. The hatch is open, though, so they got to be careful. Jay's got to be really careful that they're not holding his rotate. Primo's gonna die to uh, God Eye. Fighter's gonna get another kill onto Pigeon, so that is unfortunate. And Jay was able to rotate back, so they kind of trolled that right there. They were doing really good. They had the they had the uh, the pick that Pigeon got, and they kind of threw that away. Toki with another kill to God Eye though, so that's solid. Let me show where Toki is. Okay, he got that from the hatch. Honestly, they're not in the worst position right now. We got Vigil sitting inside of uh, Moto. Fighter is a interesting position. <laughs> they could just rush kitchen right now, to be honest. If they really wanted to. Got two guys church and one guy dirt, so. Gonna try to impactinate him. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, Sin's like one HP now, unfortunate. Oh, nice. Nice shot by Fighter. So Fighter's gonna pick up uh or Rai's gonna pick up Fighter. There goes the mute. Bomb located by Ooh, that was poor recoil control by Jay. Rai's gonna get that kill. Actually might be able to get Alibi here as well. He doesn't know where Alibi is though. Oh, computer's gonna get a, a huge two kills. So 1v1 now. Uh they're both around the same HP. Toki's got a little bit more though. I mean computers can just sit here and wait. Doesn't matter though. Toki's gonna lock that out. Another kill, and that is GG. That is the end of the map. The diamonds, one, two, one. Uh, very nice, very nice. GG's.
take a look at the scoreboard here poor toad going 0 and 4 for the plats jay top fragging for the last map going 5 and 4. Ride top fragging for his team going 6 and 3. Primo was on the bottom for his team 3 and 4. GG's well played all around the diamonds uh best of them in the long run.